tutorial we took a poll on our Facebook channel and we asked you what you would like to see us do and it was overwhelming it was table training so we have developed 10 quick tips for table training your dog um, first I'm going to tell you that the younger you can start them the better the more you can socialize them to some of the equipment and get them used to the noises the better um, all that being said, let's get into our first set of our 10 tips. And we're going to start with our noose. Noose is number one. So we have two different types of nooses that we recommend for uh, table training your dog. One is called a quick release noose. It's very much like a collar on a dog because it gives and takes a little bit. But it's quick release because if you're having an issue while you're training, it just pops and your dog can be um, loose. Okay, so it saves it from any kind of an accident. So that's our first recommendation. And all the items, the tables, the nooses, anything that we discuss, they'll all be linked in the description box below. Again, to see the description box, you'll see the title of the video in uh, either on your phone when you're viewing it on YouTube or on your laptop. You'll see a little triangle to the side, to the right hand side. You just click that, that's actually an arrow down button. And when you arrow down, uh, up pops the description box. So all of the links will be there for this type of noose, the next type of noose that I'll be discussing, tables that we recommend, anything that we basically discuss in this video and in all of our videos. So okay, um, back to the tips. Number one was the noose. This, this type of noose and the other is called a groomer's helper. Basically, it's a slide down noose. I don't know if you can see it that high, but I'll show you when I'm demoing it with the dog later. But it attaches to the top of the, the grooming arm as well as to underneath the dog's chin. So there's two points of contact on here that keeps the dog safe, less able to move around the table. So the groomer's helper noose or the quick release noose those are tip number one on table training your dog. I will go ahead and bring some dogs in here and uh, two different sizes to do some demos and we'll go over the next nine tips. Okay, we have our first demo dog here. Uh, it's a smooth fox terrier, so smaller size dog. And uh, we have the quick release noose on her. I'm going to adjust the height of the noose so that it's a little bit taut, but not too tight around her neck. She can easily move around. Um, just so you know, the reason why I like one with her is that it is going to be like a, a normal collar. It'll give her a correction if she pulls too much, but it'll also loosen up. It doesn't stay tight around her neck. So um, the tip one was the right, choose your right noose. Tip two is uh, to not let them jump on or off the table. Uh, this I've seen too many times accidents happen when a dog jumps on or off a table. If you're really comfortable with it, go for it. But my general opinion is uh, too much jumping on or off is an accident waiting to happen. They can pound on their front shoulders when they jump down, um, all their weight coming down on, all on their front shoulders. So I would recommend against it. So that's tip two. Tip three is you're gonna set the dog's four legs in a comfortable position on the table. So I am going to um, put four feet like a stack, and we'll go over stacking in an upcoming video, um, but four feet underneath her body so she's comfortable, and I kinda just use my hands to hold her there. So uh, tip three, comfortably put the four legs underneath the body. Tip four is to use your voice. Uh, you're gonna want to use your voice uh, as positive reinforcement and for training. So I'm gonna tell her stand and put her four legs in a comfortable position. Stand, stay, 
Good girl, good girl. And use that voice as a positive affirmation. If she was wiggling all over, you see how I slightly pick her up right here and pick her up right here? That doesn't hurt the dogs at all. She's not choking, she's wagging her tail. So that's a little bit of a way of correct correction and making them stand still, but also use your hands to practice that stack on the table. Uh, so your four, your four legs are comfortable, your noose is, is on the table, you're using your voice to say good girl and stand stay. The next tip is your pressure points. And by pressure points, you can teach the dog balance on the table. So the first set of pressure points that I teach is see how she's pulling towards me and not standing up on her feet. I'm gonna start using my hand to slowly push back on her front and maybe even grab the base of her tail a little bit and I'm kind of rocking her back, slowly pushing back and then release and she comes forward. So that's the first pressure point. Again, we'll do it again, slowly push back, let go and she pulls forward. That's teaching her balance and to use her four legs in balance on the table. Then as you're grooming the dog, you can use that to keep them in the proper stance when you need to trim something. Push back and lean forward. Say they were leaning towards you. What you're gonna wanna do is push them more towards you and that will make them want to revert back. So here's an example of, of that pressure point. So I'm gonna push her slightly towards you and you'll see her push back towards me. So that's a pressure point standing still on the table. The opposite, she's leaning towards me. I'm gonna teach her to lean back. So I'm gonna push her more towards me. And then you see her body come towards you that way. So those are the pressure points. I can lean her here and she comes forward, lean her here and she'll revert that way. So pressure points on the table, definitely a good way of teaching them to stand still and behave on the table. So that was tip five. Tip six is taking it the next degree further and that's teaching them the edge of the table so they wanna stand forward on the table. So for that, I'm gonna lower my arm a little bit so she has a little bit more space in here. And I'm trying to let some of the dogs groom, uh, grow their hair out so that I can do some grooming videos. So don't mind how they're groomed right now or how they're standing on the table. This isn't a big dog show competition. This is how we train. So we're gonna come back to the edge of the table and put her, fear, her feet right on that edge, put her front feet underneath her. And again, we're gonna take that pressure point back just a little bit further and push back so she learns the edge of the table. She has enough slack in her noose now and she'll come forward. And she's learning even more of that pressure point and leaning forward. Now you're gonna start getting the show dog stack and, be, and uh, standing on the table. She's actually being really good, so I'm pleasantly surprised. So again, push back on that edge of the table. It's okay if they step forward. Put their feet right back on that edge. Push back, let go. And you'll see them start leaning forward and leaning into your hand. So that was step six. Step seven is really using this grooming arm as your third hand. So you have your two hands that can move all over your dog's body, but this is gonna hold your dog still as well. So I'm gonna raise this back up higher so it's steady on her, and this is a hand per se on her, and these hands can be doing other things while this hand is holding her still. So use that as a hand letting go and positioning. Okay, step eight is walking around them on the table and using that your hands all over and your voice for positive reinforcement. Stand, stay, and I'm gonna walk, use my hands to keep her in balance. All over on the table. Stand, stay. Good girl, good girl. She wants to make me happy and she's enjoying what she's learning. So that's step eight. Step nine is we don't give them cookies on the table, or tip nine, uh, because the second you start giving them the food on the table, they're gonna be expecting it and looking for it 
every, while you're trying to groom them. And that makes it uh, really difficult to get your job done. So you praise them at the end and step nine is off the table and then the biscuit. So uh, we're coming to the end. Uh, tip 10 is to give them a break. So they did this training really well. You put them through all those steps and tips and the paces. She did really well, so I'm gonna take her off the table and tell her, good girl, give her a break. She gets a, a, to run in the yard, play, be a fox terrier, and then in a little bit, I'll put her back up on the table and we'll try again. So I'm gonna go get you a big dog so we can do a demo on the exact same thing on a big dog. Okay, we're back with our big dog now for our big dog demo on table training. The first thing that you're gonna do is Pick your noose. On her, I am going to be using a um, groomer's helper noose. It's the kind that attaches not only to the top of the grooming arm, but to the side and under the chin. It gives you extra stability. Once a dog is comfortable on the table, then you don't need to continue with this type of device, but it does give you extra support. Number two is never let them jump up on the table or off the table. It could be an accident. They could slip and slide over time, too much pounding on their front assembly. So you want to keep them safe from any accidents jumping on and off the table. If you have a hydraulic table, you can use that. Go all the way down, put the dog on the table, bring it back up to work on, and vice versa when you're done at the end. So step three is positioning the dog's legs comfortably underneath them, kind of like a stack. And we'll go into stacking in a separate video, but I'm going to simply place her legs not too far apart, just where she's comfortable standing there. Now this isn't a dog show. I'm not teaching her to stack and I'm not teaching her to stand up over herself right at this moment. She's growing her hair out for a future grooming video, so let's not judge her for that. Uh, we just want to uh, teach you how to train them on the table. Step four, which is use your voice and your voice commands. You're gonna tell her stand, stay, stay, and you're gonna tell her good girl, good girl. So she gets that praise and that attention. So all that is really, super, is really good positive reinforcement. Good girl. So don't forget to use your voice every time you're training the dogs on the table. The next step is the balance and the pressure points. And that is you're going to start by using your hand and one hand underneath and between her thighs. Stop, stop, stop. And you're going to um, slowly push back and then let go. You can see her pop back forward on the table and she's learning her balance to stand up and on the table. The same with, thing with pulling her forward on the sides. If I want her to lean one way or another, I push her towards you and she's gonna pop back with her balance. Same thing this way. Push her towards me and she's gonna come back with her balance. That is a huge way of table training it. And if you use your voice at the same time, good girl, good girl, good girl. She's building her confidence, standing up on the table, and using herself and using her balance, keeping those four legs underneath her really well. Good girl, good girl. The next tip is teaching her, it's going one step further and it's teaching her the edge of the table. So we're gonna slide her rear legs to the back edge of the table. Stay, stay, stay her front feet underneath her a little bit more. Stay. And now she's gonna, we're gonna push back in the same manner, but she's gonna learn manners for that back edge of the table and that she doesn't wanna go near that back edge. So the same way, hands pushing, letting go, and she's leaning forward. That's respect for the table and learning the edges and, and her wanting to stay in a proper space underneath the noose and in the right spot on the table. Step seven is using your grooming arm as your third hand. Positioning it correctly so it's not too tight on the dogs, um, but it is holding them there so that your hands can be doing other things. So get used to using this 
and so your hands and your voice can be doing something else. Huge tip is using your grooming arm as your third hand. The eighth step is going to be walking around the table and using your voice and your hands. So I'm going to place her where she's comfortable, all of her feet are balanced underneath her, and I'm going to walk all the way around her on the table. If you guys didn't notice, I changed my apron so that you could see her a little bit better. The black pro plan apron kind of blended in, so I wanted you to see. But walking around the table so she gets used to me on any side, and there's not a whole bunch of leaning one way or another. You see how she's getting that balance with her feet and her body position. Good girl, good girl, excellent, good job. Well done. So positive reinforcement. That leads me straight into tip nine, which is I'm not using the cookies. Uh, the cookies get come when she gets off the table as a reward. If you start giving food while they're on the table, they're going to be looking for it while you're trying to get, to get them groomed. So save the cookies till the end. Tip nine, until they're all the way off the table, then you can give them the biscuit or the treat or whatever. Continue the praise, telling them good dog. And the last tip is going to be to take a break and do this several times. Repeat this process. So uh, just like we did on the Smooth Fox Terrier, we're gonna take her off the table, we're gonna give her a break, and reward her, and then in a few minutes, would bring her back on the table and do the same thing over again. And highly recommend doing uh, a few times a day, a few days a week, and you'll get the dogs loving the table. Actually, it's quite interesting because uh, both the two dogs we chose for this demo weren't so great on the table, and so practicing has made a huge difference. As you can tell, they're, they're standing up here fairly well, so I'm pretty proud of them. We hope you've enjoyed today's uh, table training session. Uh, more videos to come shortly. If you're enjoying this series, please give us a like on this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to set the bell to all so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. If you have any comments too, there's a box below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you and we'll see you soon.